this morning, uh, brothers and sisters, our offering is for the cadet program, uh, the cadet ministry, and we are very grateful for that ministry. We are hoping and praying that with uh, reopening starting to progress uh, on Monday and following, that we will be able to uh, get cadets going again. Um, and I know that lots of people have been missing that, so we'll be glad to get that going. But in the meantime, uh, we are appreciative of that and ask that you would prayerfully consider uh, your giving and joyfully contribute uh, to that cause. Also, in terms of congregational prayer, I would invite you to pray for um, Pete's brother-in-law, uh, Mike, um, who is... Um, who is battling cancer, uh, like so many uh, folks whom we know and love, uh, you know, pray for him. He's having radiation. He recently had surgery uh, for tongue cancer. Um, so please uh, pray for him uh, and for the whole family as well. Also, I wanted to let you know that yesterday uh, I was uh, privileged to participate in a meeting between uh, all of the classes of Canada. So this was um, hosted by Classes Niagara. It was called the Canadian Catalytic Conversation Part 2, uh, which is, you know, somewhat an unwieldy name, but there it is. Uh, and basically, this is sparked by um, some recommendations that are coming before Synod, but also the reality that... Uh, the, the Canadian part of the Christian Reformed Church has had four uh, leaders in a row um, in our part of the denomination who have either been let go or who have quit um, under uh, kind of yucky circumstances. Not that there was a moral fault or failing on their part, but rather that there was differences in vision, differences in um, how uh, those people thought that things ought to move forward. And, and in combination with the recommendations that are coming before uh, Synod, uh, we needed to gather together as Canadian classes to uh, get a feel for, um, get a finger on the pulse of, where Canadian classes are, are at with regards to our relationship with our American brothers and sisters um, in the denomination. And, and there were a lot of wonderful things about that. One was that there was a great deal of appreciation for uh, the partnership that we have had with our brothers and sisters in the United States for a uh, hundred years, basically, uh, the reality is is that Canadian churches of the CRC were basically planted by missionaries who were sent from the Christian Reformed Church in the United States um, as early as 1905, I think, or something like that. Um, the first church in Canada was founded. And, and then when waves of immigrants came after World War II, uh, American um, home missionaries were here to help plant churches. And in the intervening years, there have been numerous, numerous things that we have done together and continue to do get together. And so there was an expression of appreciation for that and an acknowledgement of the importance of our relationship. There was also um, concern expressed with regards to some of the relational dynamics between, um, between the American wing of the denomination and the Canadian wing of the denomination and wondering about how best to proceed. And so if you would like to hear more about that, you can feel free to come and talk with me anytime you like. In the meantime, please be in prayer for us as a denomination as we try to move forward in good and positive and constructive ways in partnership with our brothers and sisters in the United States as well. Also, in terms of congregational prayer, I want to remind you again that we are in the process of seeking nominations for elder and deacon, and so we pray about that during our congregational prayer, but we also ask that you be in prayer uh, for 
yourself and or others whom you know in the congregation about whether or not God might be calling you or someone you know to serve or at least put your name forward to serve as elder or deacon. Um, I received some reassurance from one of our elders this uh, past week or the week before that Yes, they actually did enjoy and appreciate being an elder, and so that was that was good. Also, there are some exciting uh, there's a, some exciting work going on amongst the deacons, some visioning and exciting stuff going on there, and so that may be something that you are interested in participating in. Um, so keep that in prayer. Today, uh, in the bulletin, also it is mentioned that. Uh, for prayer, we should pray for the Ottawa Campus Chaplaincy Ministry, um, which is um, Sid Ipma is the chaplain there, and we've had him come and speak on a number of occasions. I just recently learned, and this is public knowledge, I, I believe, yes, it is, um, that Sid has accepted a call to uh, become the minister of Kemptville CRC, um, the, the date for that is not exactly worked out or anything like that, but um, in light of that, you can be in prayer for um, not only um, Pastor Sid and the Ottawa Campus Chaplaincy, but also for uh, whatever transitions await them as well. Those are all the things that I needed to specifically mention to you, so let's come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you again so much for gathering us together. We thank you, O oh God, that through Jesus Christ and through the ongoing work of your Holy Spirit, we can be cleansed not only of our sins of the past, but also that you in an ongoing way work in, in us and through us and with us and sometimes in spite of us to cleanse us, to free us of sinfulness. Not that that job will be done in this lifetime, but that rather we will continually be brought closer to you and to living as who we were meant to be, your sons and daughters. Not only in the reality of our salvation, but also in the echoing reality of our day-to-day -day lives, our words and our deeds. Oh God, please, Help us, continue to help us in that so that we may be free of murderousness, we may be free of stealing things or coveting things even in our hearts, we may be free of all of those things and instead we may live lives that are fully dedicated to loving you and loving our neighbor as ourselves. Father, we pray close to home, O oh God, for Pete's brother-in-law Mike. We ask that you will be with him and his whole family as Mike continues with treatments, Lord, as he battles the side effects of radiation and the pain associated with the cancer, Lord. We pray for your mercy upon him and his family. Lord, we pray also for the church, the Christian Reformed Church of North America, we pray, O oh God, that you will give us re continued wisdom as we strive to work together as a binational denomination. Lord God, we thank you for the meeting that happened yesterday and for the tone and, and timber of that meeting. And we pray that good things will come out of that. Lord, we pray as well in our own congregation, for nominations. We pray that you will make it clear to our hearts if you are calling us to serve in this office of elder or deacon. Lord, we pray that, that it would become clear through the, the nudging of your Spirit or the strong voice of your messengers or through the, the words and the prayers of the people around us, through our own prayers and discernment. So God, Lord, just like you have always done, we pray that you will continue to provide faithful leadership for this 
congregation. We pray as well for Ottawa campus chaplaincy and for Pastor Sid there. We thank you for his many years of service there and we pray for him and his family and for Kemptville CRC as they transition there. We pray also for the chaplaincy that you would guide and navigate whatever transitions they need to make. We thank you for not only Ottawa Campus Chaplaincy, but all of our chaplaincy ministries throughout North America and the world. Guide our chaplains working as they do in their situations. Father, for this country, we pray, O oh God, for those who are very frustrated with the restrictions that we have been facing over the past couple of years. We pray for those who are frustrated with new restrictions. We thank you, O oh God, for the freedom that we have to protest and to express our opinions on so many things. We pray, O oh God, that we would continue and even improve in being a society of open dialogue and of love and civility. Father, we pray for our governments and we pray for each and every one of us as we move forward, hopefully, in Ontario to greater reopening. And Father, Lord, we pray for us for all of those in our congregation who are struggling with sickness, with loneliness, with mental health, emotional health, spiritual health, O oh God. Please comfort, comfort us and help us to be a comfort to all of those around us, O oh God. May we be your hands and feet. May we show that we are Christians by our love one for another. Father, as we come to your scriptures, we pray that you would open our hearts and minds, that we may hear what you would have us hear, and that we may leave from this place transformed through your Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, children.